Good morning, Safe House. I'm Shara, and we're back again with our health and wellness expert, Dr. Audrey Lee. Now, we dealt with S and A in the past two weeks, and now we're here to talk about F. Now, you remember the S stands for sugars and sweeteners, the A stands for alternative foods, and now F. What does that stand for? I know. I had to hit it. It means F. I know a lot of people don't want to hear it, but we eat too much fat, yeah. and we eat it in the wrong things, but mm -hmm. fat is good for us. Actually, our heads, our brain, I should say it like that, <laughs> is fat. Okay. That's why we get called fat head. <laughs> but we, we can't eat fat, but we have to eat it in a healthy form. I don't mean fried chicken and all the fat that we put in our food to make it taste good, mm -hmm. but there's some healthier fat alternatives or choices that we can make, like olive oil, avocado and even um, walnuts or your nuts, those are all good fats for our body. And you want to follow your fat to find out where it comes from. You probably wonder, what do you mean by that? What I mean is, if I asked you what kind of oils do you use, you might tell me olives. Well, that's a good one because it comes from an olive, or an avocado oil comes from avocado, or a walnut oil comes from walnuts. But if somebody asked you, what about canola? My question is, where does it come from? If you don't know where a food comes from, you shouldn't put it in your body because your body doesn't recognize it just like you don't. So the rule of thumb is know where your fat comes from before you eat it. Know where your fat comes from before yeah. you eat it. So in order for you to be safe at the plate, it's important to have a safe body, a safe house, and a safe home.